Hello everyone, welcome to this St. Patrick's Day event a quick tutorial. It will be several episodes of that. And I'd like to explain you in the first one just the basics of the event because it's much, much different if you never done St. Patrick's event, uh, which to be true, you know, <laughs> um, I was trying to avoid this event uh, and I've done it. I'm not saying I, I haven't done it, but it's not the one which I enjoy the most because you need to spend this additional one and a half to two hours to do this mini game, which you see on the screen. I'll zoom it in. So, the grand prize is, I mean, the, the, the Pat, St. Patrick's Day prize is so worth it that let's, let's maybe start off it, okay? So it's Druid, Druid Temple Kit, and you start off the plain one, yes, the level one. Even the Iron Age, it gives you 320 people, 1400 coins, and two random goods every day, yes? So then you get this random production, like in the we had a, no, there is a crow's, crow's nest in English uh, called. So that one, because in, in Polish is a stork's net, nest, excuse me. And you've got this random production. The difference with that one is that you had a chance of a diamonds here, you don't have. So even on this level one, you know, you've got still, you know, like it's a large space. So we've got still uh, quite a bit of people, quite some goods, you know, and, and some fourth points. Yes, it please occupies. It takes five by five by four. Yes, yeah? so it, it is large. You can see the Iron Age here, which I have. Okay, which I don't, to be true, I don't play on um, on the beta server a lot. So it is ZZ, so it is beta server. Um, but I still play some, you know, like just to be true, keeping account active more than play. Yeah, so it, it is here. Yeah, so it is, it is large. It's on level two because I didn't play yesterday. I started, I finished one town and now my wife wanted to do one just out of curiosity because she loves those kind of things. So I did max out the diamonds, which I receive, uh, like you receive on a beta server to, you know, to see how it is with diamonds. So in, with diamonds, you are able to uh, do town in, in one day, no problem, even below one day, it's like, and you've got it. Yes, I did a mistake in the first one. And I'd like to talk to you about the mistake. Um, and down below will be a link to the spreadsheet, which will contain uh, like a cheat sheet for it and video with a more thorough explanation. But to be true, if you're a beginner with FOIA, it might more confuse you than anything else. So my plan is to, after this one, record more detailed tutorial, which will make it more easy for you. Because what it is, you get the events tasks and you complete these tasks yes and then you receive pots of gold now the all whole problem with those pots of gold is that um, you receive 100 per day and then once reaching uh, once you fill in all the quick uh, tasks you can go for a daily one yes and then you receive 150 i don't know if th that will be the same uh, on our server and but it is 100 and 150 per day yes like per task so if you if you start off of this one then the whole tutorial you know going through you will need look i mean that the whole uh, whole timeline going through you've got level 10 so you need nine upgrades whereas, whereas you get only two of them uh, here on the timeline yes so it is, it is giving you, look, not 300, but 490 people, more coins, 14% boost to that for the attacking army, 20 random goods every day, yes. And then production daily is quite significant comparing to what you've seen, uh, you know, in on the base building, yes. You've got 25 forge points, 40% of a chance. It's a large chance of that, yes. 25 goods, it's a 40% of a chance as well, so largely. And then, of course, some rubbish, you know, which, which most of the people won't care about. Uh, so, it, so it is worth to max it out, uh, and it's going higher. You see, with with all the levels here, you've got twenty percent of chance for five forge points. Let's say here you've got twenty five percent for ten forge points. Yeah, so it is going up, up, up. Here it's thirty five percent for fifteen forge points. 
So you see, so if you do it for the last three, it's really awesome, I'd say, because it's starting 6% for the attacking army and defense and 16 random goods. Yes, so so, so it is where even if you won't finish, you know, on the 10th level, that's a okay. But to make sure you will do it, okay, what you have to do is you have to start here. You start off the hot factory and if you if you want to automate the process of this factory, you have to uh, you have to click on it so you get a factory manager because otherwise you have to click manually and collect uh, production. Yes, so it is annoying. Um, plus, yes, plus if you get the manager on the basic level, like you see here, is only ten percent. Yes, factory output bonus, production speed bonus is zero. And what it is, yes, what it is is. If I would click 20, that will take 20. Keep in mind that you've got others, one, one. Then after this one, you've got um, this, yes. Then after this one, you will have, I think this, this, and then the last one is, is fireworks, yes. So all of them will require in each town uh, those uh, golds, those pots of gold. So you can't max out the first one if you don't play with diamonds, because if you max out the first one, you'll spend now 20, then another one is bigger, like 50, and then it's 100, yes? Yeah? So you'll pen, I, I can't remember because I've done it only once. So, so it is, you know, a cost for you. So you can only start off the basic one. And I will try to figure out the way or, or find a more efficient way to do it. I know that it's no more than three upgrades per um, per one factory manager to afford all the gold put it into the game so that you can get those rewards. So how you make a progress in the game is you start off, start off here, yes. Well, apart from making the tasks regular way of, of doing the events. So what you're doing here is you see and um, you've got a first factory, you've got this manager which you pay with gold, then you you have those goods gathered here, yes, in the shipyard or whatever you can call it, yes. Here from from this ferry place, yes, it's taken up to the here to the warehouse and then it's reproduced uh, to get it as those uh, shamrock, shamrocks, yes. So then those shamrocks you use to um, to complete these tasks, yes, here, yes, to make a progress in game. Uh, you need to get 8.4 quadrillion of them as well to open another town. So there are two ways of, of getting these upgrades, as you see here, you can do the tasks which then will complete, like upgrade your shipyard manager to level three, you see? If I'll upgrade it, then task completed, yes? And that will be 20 here. Here is upgrade your flowers factory manager to level two, yes? As well. So that will give me another 21. Here, if I'll go get two more, it's upgrade festival manager to level three as well, it will be 20. Uh, two, yes? So that's, that's what you can do. But keep in mind that every third is the Druid Temple upgrade. So you need to do a lot of those tasks. And tasks of um, 25 upgrades are affordable way to do it. But higher, you know, you need to plan it well, because if you do higher, then it's 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 a bit too dear for you and you might not afford uh, from the event tasks to get as many as you wish. So then the goal is that you need to gather um, 8,000, uh, sorry, 8.4 Q quadrillion, yes? Yeah? So, so it's quite a lot. You see my wife have done to 231, um, no, so to 578 at the moment, yes? And uh, now she've got 231 T uh, speed, yes? So it is, it is not bad actually to be true, but she's still on a basic, you see basic basic so she don't spend a lot of um a lot of uh, those gold pots because there is no <laughs> there's no gold pot and i won't be buying for money here as well you see it's 40 yeah so they are dear the, then starting off they are 10 you see or 20 yes this one uh, but then those dear ones yes like this it's 50 if you want to hire a manager yes so then you click on it and it's taking this down. And then if you don't have, you, you just have to come here every time and collect it. 
So it is annoying. So you really have to keep in mind to not spend those those pots too many. You can find them as well in, in the time. I don't know if you if we are able. How many do you have? We got oh 100 pots of gold. I can automate her process of St. Patrick's just because I found it. Yes, so I'll I'll buy her a manager. Yes, so now it's automated. So now she don't have to worry about collecting it. So it is will be it will be more smooth. It won't be as quick, you know, as as it would be, but it is it is now automated. So it's collecting on. You see here, she can't do it. Yes, hire a manager. You see, so then it's doing on its own. Now here we need to click and collect. You see as well. But can I afford it thirty? Yes, I can afford it thirty. Yes. So now none, none of them are popping. Yes, so it's making automatic move on the clock and then it's going. So please keep it in mind, if, if you will start that event, please go back to this video, you know, and just follow what I said and you'll be fine. And uh, not too many upgrades of the manager, rather less than, than more. Uh, then follow these tasks alone, up to no more than 25 on each. Uh, and... And yes, and then try to get, you know, as quickly as possible to 8.4Q. Now you've got a chest, yes, one free chest, and then each chest is dear. If you complete all of the chests, then you can get a, a an upgrade. You see an upgrade for the for this. So there are two ways, either completing those tasks or opening those chests. And to open those chests, you need as well pots of gold. So you need to choose if you want to do those tasks more, yes, up to 25, let's say, or, and then you get those upgrades every third reward, yes, or you will say, hmm, okay, so I'll better do the towns, yes, as many as towns as I can get, and then I'll just, you know, like at, at the end of the, in each town, there will be six of those in chests and then once you open all of them you've got this upgrade yes so then you need to finish seven towns so in order to finish seven towns you need to have pots of gold here for the basic event <laughs> factory manager yes for each of them one two three four five six seven yes and then you need to uh, you need to as well have those tasks which will be require upgrade you know certain upgrades so you need to see what the balance is better I'll, and i'll try to you know i try to figure out the best way or or read more tutorials and then i can record at the start of the event after doing each town i can record another video yes which was more most efficient yes and we can calculate because there is there will be probably a um, difference in in between beta server and the event in the real account yes so so that we need to take in account as well and we can estimate somehow on this one but it might not be what it is you know for real uh, later in the real life yes so uh, yes you see the reward is really rewarding it is worth it is quite large reward but it is really rewarding rewarding because there is 25 forge points or 25 goods and uh, so you for sure you've got something older in your town which you can delete even into place it uh, place it there and um, and and it is complex don't get me wrong it is it is complex for the beginners and there are many people who are quitting on this event so it is worth just sticking you know uh, and and doing it together even if you want to put comments with some advice what's what you finding better if you want i don't mind i know there's only a few people watching it but please do it you know every ad advice counts you know if it works for you why not help others to to thrive as well you know it's it's after all it's a game for people not for uh, one person yes so you see i'm helping for free and you could help something out as well and please try to finish all the tasks yes all the tasks there is if you want to finish these tasks yes uh, you won't be able to get more and um, more of the uh, god pulse uh, and if you want to get gold Bolts, uh, you, you you will struggle with doing the event anyway yes so so that's that's it guys that's everything uh, that's the first video keep in mind i will try to make another one when the new event will start in 20 odd days from the time of the recording yes thank you guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye